Welcome back to FN TV at MWC 25. I am Steve Saunders and I'm excited to welcome Taki Adin Kanush, lead architect for AI in the office of the CTO of Viavi, which is a test measurement and assurance company. Nice to see you. Likewise. We're Stephen. hearing a lot of noise about AI and uh, machine learning, of course. Um, should we just welcome our robot overlords uh, and let them do their own thing autonomously or do we still need to have some human oversight of these technologies? Not quite yet, unfortunately. Yeah, we still need human oversight. I think at least as far as the telecommunication industry goes, mm. there is still a long way to go to let AI capabilities or agents or whatever we call them nowadays mm. take full reign and control of the, uh, over the end-to-end -end network, right? There are a lot of complexities, a lot of uncertainties. There are still some issues with reliability and factuality that needs to be engineered into reliable solutions. Mm. But with engineering comes uncertainty as well. Hence my prediction that we still need human uh, involvement in the loop for quite some time to go. Yeah. What would you say the number one challenge that we need to overcome is before we can... Uh, implement uh, level four and level five autonomy? I think uh, making, uh, putting some order in the mess that is the data in the telco space, right? Mm. A lot of systems, a lot of heterogeneous data sources, a lot of data movement would be required to train and use the kind of models nowadays we think mm. that might take us down, up the ladder of the automation, uh, right? So data is number one, right? And compute is number, second, number two. Mm. Um, all of this data needs to be processed, needs to be clean, needs to be used for training these models. These models need to be tested again, and this is a continuous loop. This is not a one-shot development of a, a software capability. This is something that's going to be going on and on and on in an operational mm -hmm. network. So you can imagine how this cost could be quite an interesting a problem to deal with, right? Yeah. So uh, let me just get this clear. A lot of training needs to happen, and we're talking about using bespoke models essentially vertically trained for the industry which they're operating in. So this isn't going to be like chat GPT where I ask it a question and it gets it spectacularly wrong sometimes, I hope. Yeah, so good example, great, great example actually. Um, imagine taking chat GPT, putting it to operator networks and it spouts that kind of nonsense in a network and controlling left and right, your RAN elements, your core elements, chaos would ensue, mm -hmm. right? So that's why I'm saying there is a need to train in uh, a live telecom network. There is, there is a need, what we call fine tuning, right? Capturing data that is context specific for a task that you are interested in, that is, has a business value for you, mm -hmm. and you still need to fine tune whatever generic off the shelf uh, capabilities you have mm -hmm. on that specific domain. Otherwise, you still have to, will have to deal with hallucinations, yeah. non factual Oh, I have answers. enough of those already. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. so, you know, I guess I know that there are two carriers, China Mobile and uh, Telefonica Brazil, that have enabled uh, Level 4 uh, autonomy in their core 5G network, but I'm assuming that would only be possible if you did it in a very no, uh, no. vertical way. With uh, There probably is some human oversight in there still, do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah. I, I would imagine. So I think you, I think you, can, you can do closed level automation, full automation, maybe narrow, uh, mm. in a narrow context, mm. where maybe if a disaster happens, it's not going to be you know, a big one. Mm. And also, probably there is human oversight. Human oversight to intervene when there is a suspicion of something not working quite right. So an oversight in order to fine tune the closed loop, make sure that maybe the models that are refreshed are updated, are you know are reasoning in the right manner about the problem at hand. I think, and that's why human oversight is still needed for exactly these kind of situations. Yeah. So uh, we have a new administration in the United States, and we also have a lot of influence from. Uh, big tech companies, all of which adds up to a lot of deregulation. We're heading into a sort of deregulated market. I mean, for me, that seems like it presents some uh, potential risks with security, with privacy, with compliance in the AI environment in North America. Do you agree? Are you worried about it? I, I am. I am worried about it. And it's an interesting, uh, it's hard to predict how all of this uh, will boil down to because the technical challenges are the same are facts, you know, almost scientific facts. AI needs data, data bad, garbage in, garbage out. The restraining needs to be done. We don't have the all known AI yet. So these are realities and facts any engineer or billionaire products would know. 
Now, uh, the deregulation, maybe it's a way maybe to incentivize innovation, people to try things out, and if they break, that's okay. But there is Europe, on the other hand, where the regulation going in the other sense. The AI Act is an interesting situation where some people are feeling over-regulation. But uh, overall, I would say there are intrinsic risks in AI, whether you heavily regulate or deregulate, you need to at least be aware of those. And these are cybersecurity risks, national security risks. Just imagine with me, if you have a generative AI model monitoring and controlling your network operations, and it hallucinates, like some Tesla cars a few years ago when they claimed full automation, hallucinated by looking at uh, yeah. road signs on the side and somebody modified the pixel distribution of the road signs, it turned right instead of left or something like this. Imagine if that is project on network operation and it turned off cells instead of turning them on. So these are kind of issues that could be manipulated and triggered by uh, malicious uh, users. So, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. A real education. Lots yeah. of things to think about. Yeah. Great talking to you. Yeah, Thanks absolutely. for being on Likewise. the show. Likewise. Thanks, Stephen.